your book outlines a unique framework for developing a technology roadmap. Would you mind to tell us about that a little bit? Yeah, sure. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's important to keep it uh, straightforward and intuitive. And this method um, that I developed is called, I call it ATRA. That's Advanced Technology Roadmap Architecture. And at the core of it, there are four questions that you ask about a specific technology. Number one, where are we today? So how good is that technology today? You know, if you look at cars, for example, or airplanes, or really any, any technologically based product, um, how, how well does it perform? How reliable is it? How sustainable is it? Um, the second question is, where could we go? So this requires, is kind of the most creative step. Um, where could things go? How could they, how could they be um, changed? How could they be replaced? You know, for example, the, the Hyperloop, right? We're going to maybe travel through these vacuum, you know, tubes of, uh, you know, with vacuum in them. Well, vacuum means there's nothing in them. But, <laughs> um, and that could be replacing aviation. Right or or trains in in some years, so where could we go? And you got to really think about the future and different scenarios. The third question is where should we go? So every company has to answer that for themselves. So given our strengths, where we're located, the knowledge of our workforce, our access to resources, capital, knowledge, what is the best path for us or the top three paths? And then the fourth question is, where are we actually going? So you then compare, where are we putting our money today? What are the projects, the research and development that we have in our portfolio today? And how does that compare to what the direction is that we should be going into? You know, and in the best case, the roadmap just confirms that you're, you're heading in a great direction, just keep going. Um, sometimes it's saying, no, we're doing exactly the wrong thing. We need to do a 180. Most of the time you have a portfolio where you're going to keep some things that are good. You're going to stop some projects. You're going to start some new things and you make a course correction. You make a course correction every year based on this four-step approach. So if, if someone hears this and they think, I want to do this, what is your piece of advice for people who want to get started? I mean, you must consult with businesses, but what would you say to people who want to who want to just dive into this? Well, I think the best way to learn is to look at other technology roadmaps. It's kind of like when you learn how to program or code in software. Um, it's just looking at other people's code first. What have they done? What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? So we have um, a, a, a website at MIT, roadmaps.mit.edu. Um, you can go and look at roadmaps there. They're all open. They're kind of in, an, in a Wikipedia type format. So it's all open source. Um, the book uh, is coming out next month. And so hopefully that will be good. I also teach an online course in technology road mapping and uh, through MIT professional education. And so I think there's all kinds of ways to, to get excited and, and just try it. Uh, you know, pick a technology that you're fascinated about and start learning about it and uh, understand how that technology, when did, when was it started? How has it improved? And where is it going? 